Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do want to give you guys a quick update before we get into the readings. We are going to be releasing um, the Pendulum gift box. This is going to be dropping on Friday, May 21st, next week on Friday. Um, and what this is, is basically a pendulum. Obviously, you guys know, if you don't know what that is, then it's probably not for you. <laughs> a pendulum is a form of communication. However, these have been ritualized, consecrated through ceremonial magic to only allow your spirit guides and ancestors to step in and to communicate with you through the pendulum. It comes with crystals and herbs, as well as a vial for protection and a necklace. So if you guys are interested, definitely go to our online store. Like I said, uh, we're going to be releasing those Friday, May 21st. Um, so you guys check it out. Also, I do want to let you guys know we only did a limited amount. We are only releasing 50. Um, I don't like to release in masses only because... I actually do ritualize them and prepare them um, so that as soon as it arrives, you can start using it. So again, um, if you're interested, definitely check that out. Okay, let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Quick side note, you guys ignore my nails. <laughs> They're looking like crap right now. I just have been on the move, on the go, 24-7. Um, it's been crazy, you guys, and I have a lot of new things coming. I will be announcing as we're getting ready. Um, so, yeah, just letting you guys know there is tons of new things to come. Anyways, um, yeah, so like I was saying, I just haven't had the time <sighs> or energy to work on myself <laughs> Uh, we've been extremely busy with clients, etc., etc. So let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. I decided to do this a little bit different. We're going to be using two different decks, one for you, one for your partner or person of interest. So let's see what spirits have for you, Leo. Spirit guides, what are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Please paint a vivid picture to us of what is unfolding for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. Thank you, spirits. Okay, here we go. Let's get into it. Your first card, Leo, is the Eight of Pentacles. The World card. Ooh, okay. Knight of Pentacles. I see you guys really focus. There is a lot of there is a lot of focus in regards to career, in regards to your finances. There is a I feel like your reputation, Leo, your reputation or, or everything that has to do with how other people view you uh, is definitely going to be taking center stage in this month of May. I feel you guys have really been putting a lot of effort, and I know this is a love reading, but I just want to put it out there. Uh, you're going to start to see a lot of improvements, a lot of growth in your finances, um, and even opportunities to uh, to grow within the career or profession that you're currently on. So when we're talking about love and romance, I do see you guys really putting effort. I feel that for a lot of you or the majority of you, you've been putting a lot of effort um, towards your goals and towards your aspirations. I feel like for some of you guys, romance has taken a back seat. It's all about the coins, basically. It's this is you focusing your energy or channeling that energy uh, into uh, career and finances. So there's a lot of opportunities that are coming your way in regards to love, um, in regards to career, sorry, in regards to career and advancements. Now, you may be dealing with a Libra. I also see Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For others of you, fire energy, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo like yourself. Right at the center, we have the Empress card. So what they're telling you here, Leo, it's very important for you to uh, really vibrate from your uh, feminine divine energy. So whether you're a male or female, doesn't matter. They're telling you that you need to embrace the feminine energy at this present time. Um, this could be tapping into your creative outlook. This could also represent sensuality and your sexuality. For some of you guys, there hasn't been much action in that area. 
quickly that's going to be changing. As I do see, again, people gravitating towards you. There's something about you. There's something about your aura, Leo, that you're going to be experiencing a lot of people trying to either get your attention. For some of you guys, I see a specific individual in the workplace that is going to be going above and beyond to try to get your attention. I feel that this is a younger person, younger person, um, between that somewhere between the ages of 25 to 25 to 35 uh depending on your age i do see them a bit uh younger if not in the physical aspect meaning if if they're 25 and you're 22 as an example it's just an energy of someone that is a little bit more immature than you however could be playful type of energy I do see the, you know, the passion, the desire being ignited here. And again, I feel that by the end of May, you're going to be going out on dates. You're going to be entertaining the possibility for some of you guys. It could even represent um, having uh, choices, having to choose between two people, two specific people is what they're showing me here. Okay, so I think I pulled out a little too many cards, but let's go with it. All right, so for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Capricorn, for others, a Scorpio. Um, I see pretty much all the energies here. What they are telling me for some of you guys, there's been like, for those of you guys that are in a relationship, you've been trying to put effort and energy towards this relationship, even self-sacrificing at some point. However, I feel that the month of May, there is a realization. There is something that it's like you're going to take a step back and say, you know what? I'm the Leo. I'm the person that, you know, you're supposed to be gaining my attention. You're supposed to be doing, going above and beyond to prove to me that you're worthy of me. So there's a revelation in regards to your self-worth. Um, now, I'm not saying that you don't know your self-worth, but what I am saying is that you're definitely going to be acknowledging that by the end of this month. So it's almost like the ball will be in your court because you're taking your power back, Leo. Now, for others of you, there is a transformation that's happening with the Scorpion energy here. We have the death card. So you may be dealing with Scorpio. Uh, this could be still the influence of the passing full moon that we just experienced in Scorpio. There's a transformation that's happening. For a lot of you guys, you are releasing certain toxic traits when we're talking about relationships, when we're talking about partnerships. For some of you guys, it's releasing the energy of an ex that was extremely toxic um, whether you have children or not with this person, or I should say whether you have children with this person that was very toxic in the past, I feel that you're taking your power back. You're no longer allowing them to influence or to nudge at you, to get on your nerves or to um, get the best out of you. Basically, I feel that you're taking your power back is what they're saying. Um, and again, they keep telling me the ball is going to be in your court. So again, if you have been dealing with the baby daddy or baby mama that has been very toxic, that continuously cr tries to, there's something about power and control that they could be either fascinated with, with or there is a desire to want to prove to the world that they're in control. Um, and I think that for the month of the end of May, they're telling me your power, you're going to be taking your power back. So it's almost like it could be a situation that arises where they kind of have to humble themselves. And it is up to you whether you overlook that situation or whether you stand your ground and decide to like updo or something about rules or regulations. Um, if there is like, as an example, if there is a understanding between you and an ex-partner um, and it's almost like you've kind of facilitated made it easier for them, even though they're the ones that are constantly trying to make it difficult for you, that's quickly going to be changing. And it's like the ball is going to be in your court. You're the one that's going to decide when, where, and what happens. So again, um, very positive energy. I feel you guys really like being very much in your energy. I see, like I said, I see two perspectives coming towards you for the end of May. I want to say the beginning of June. Uh, one may be in the workplace or um, you may actually meet them while you're working or when they're working. For others of you, there is a short trip that's coming up that you may experience um, that you may experience that comes as like very unexpected. 
I see you guys taking that short trip and there is a new person that you're going to be dealing with. They could be a Libra or another fire energy like yourself. All right, let's see what is unfolding, what is going on with the partner or person of your interest. Yeah, I see you guys ending cycles with people from your past. I see you guys not wanting to deal with people from the past anymore, to be honest. And there is a lot of promise here. There's like a lot of new beginnings that are happening for you, Leo. So I want you guys to really focus on attaining your goals because you're you're going to be reaching them, baby. You're going to be making it happen. Um, for others of you, again, like I said, I do see possibilities here for love and romance. I feel that for some of you guys, if not the majority, uh, you guys have been single for quite a while. Okay, let's see. The person of your interest or the person that's coming towards you. We have the nine of pentacles. This is a person that is very stable. This is a person that loves to be in their singlehood. Um, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person that uh, you felt like they had the upper hand on you. Um, there was almost like a feeling of they give you attention and then they pull back. They give you attention, they pull back. They may use it as an excuse that they're busy. Uh, but in reality, we have here the seven of cups. So I feel like this person was probably entertaining other people or they could have been uh, weighing some options here. However, with the ten of wands, there is a cycle that's coming to an end. I feel that you're pulling your energy. So for some of you guys, you were dealing with a person that was emotionally unavailable, making it seem like they were extremely busy. Um, but in reality, they were or could have been dealing with other people. Ten of Wands, they're feeling the burden. They're feeling like you're detaching yourself or pulling away Five of Pentacles. I see you releasing, meaning I see you guys walking away from this connection and no longer holding um, or expecting something to come from this. Now, what I'm seeing here is you uh, or they, I should say, they have the lover's card with the high priestess. They know you're worth Leo and they know for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with the person that was dealing with multiple people. Um, but they know that from the people they were entertaining, you were the one that either demanded or commanded some type of respect. They probably were pulling or pushing away uh, from your connection because they felt like at that point they couldn't really provide or offer you the type of commitment that you deserve or that you want. However, I do see them in their feelings about you. I see them um, either dreaming about you or even you could be experiencing dreaming of them. Uh, and it's only because they're highly missing you and wanting to start something new again or wanting to restart. There's a feeling of like, I, I want to make things right or I want to, you know, let's go back to starting all over again, that type of energy. But I'm going to put it out there, you guys, if you're dealing with this type of inconsistency, don't even entertain it. We have the seven of swords here. They're being sneaky. They're going to go back to their old ways. Queen of wands, stay in your power. Five of wands, ego driven. This is a person that's ego driven. So again, I would not embrace anything that is from the past. Be ready because there's a new beginning that's coming. There are new perspectives that are coming your way, Leo. Stop wasting your time on people that are just not ready or people that don't deserve you, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.